I'm just going to show you how to create a pulsating text design that's, that's going to be turned into a video. Okay, so what it does, I'm just going to go select here the text tool. Just applied some text. And I'm applying it to a black background so you can actually see the sort of red beam pulsing design. Now, to actually create the actual gradient pulses, I'm just going to go to the gradient tool, select the gradient tool there. Here's the gradient. So it's actually made up of two red stops in the center with pasty set to 100, pasty set there to zero on both sides. So it's like a beam when you use the linear option. Just going to go over here to the layers. If you can't see that window and layers. And I'm going to go from the edge of the characters there. So I'm just going to just hold the shift down so it's a straight line just there. Get that beam. I'm going to go to the other ones as well. And cross that way. Beam again. Beam across there. Okay, what I want to do now, I want to actually add a layer style. And the layer style I want to add is a glow, outer glow. So I'm just going to go there to layer outer glow. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to extend that out to as much as possible. I'm going to go for the overlay, that's what I want. The overlay one, which I think it actually creates this nice sort of glow effect. And you can actually already see the pulse, the start of a pulse design. Okay. So once you've actually got that, I'm just going to wait that bit. You can modify these other settings if you wish as well. So click OK. Now what I want to do now is actually create that as a layer. So the way to do that is go to a layer, layer style, create layer. And so the outer glow there is now a layer. OK, once you've got that, go to a layer smart objects convert to smart object because the next thing I want to do is actually transformations so I don't want to actually sort of do a transformation that sort of damages the actual layer so I just want to just rotate it sort of okay next thing to do I've got here the timeline just move that out of the way slightly here's the timeline if you can't see that window timeline and that's the whole thing with the video so I can actually just now go to create video timeline and you can see then the different layers. Well, next thing to do is I'm going to go obviously there. And I want to select the transform option. Click that. And now what I can do is actually rotate this. And obviously this is creates a keyframe. So there's a keyframe there. That's why I have to click that just a little button there, little clock, and you can move this along, obviously just to position it there, and you can now just rotate that a bit, so you can actually see that modify slightly, click OK, and you will see a little keyframe added there, I'm just going to go there, a bit, a bit further along, oh, don't want to move that all over there, I don't want to rotate the other direction. Keep that in the center. Okay. Now, once that's done, you can actually now just go back and you can actually see <coughs> the text pulsating. Well, it's obviously laser beam behind the text pulsating backwards and forwards. And of course, you can now render this as a video. Just go over to the file and export render video. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.